And our next back to school topic is one that many are working through, but few are talking about. It's back to school challenges that might come with co-parenting. And we have on our show today, Bowie Madhu. He's an image architect and a parent himself that has been co-parenting for over a decade now. Now, Bowie has ties here to Western New York and just recently appeared on one of the programs that you can watch right here on WKBW 7 ABC. It's called The List. So we are super excited to be able to have Bowie on our show this morning to talk more about what it is you do to help families. We really appreciate that. Thanks for having me, Emily. I'm glad to be here. Glad to be here. So, uh, so yeah, it's glad to be back in Buffalo, of course, as yes. a UB alum. Hi to the UB alums out there. Go um, Buffalo. And, and go Buffalo. So, yeah, for me, I came out of the undergraduate program, right, as a civil engineer, then did urban planning. And over the years, there's something that I realized that was a principle of building things, yes. right? And that's that everything is built off of blueprints. Mm -hmm. Especially in general construction, you've got to use blueprints to build strong structures. Sure. So going back to school, if you're a co-parent, one of the things that you're dealing with is how do you create a structure to build a strong, harmonious family, right? Yes. It's already emotional <laughs> going back you're to school. You're absolutely right. And then you mm -hmm. layer on the whole uh, situation. So there's some three things that I, I think parents should pay attention to, which is um, design, build, and live a best version of themselves, right? Mm -hmm. And that in requires that they reimagine what this new situation is going to be like. Right. Who's getting picked up? What are the holiday schedules? Uh, who's going to do what when it comes to homework assignments? You know, all those logistics. And the blueprint process that I use is a 24-hour blueprint process where right. we are consistently looking at five things mm -hmm. that make the, the transition a little bit easier. Faith, fellowship, finances, feelings, and fitness. And a lot of folks out there are probably thinking, that sounds great and everything, but <laughs> how do you implement something like that, right? Yep. You have very realistic tips to help people get through. One of them we discussed even before the show on Facebook Live. So. Facebook Live is always a great place to go before our show to kind of see what we're up to and what's going to be on. Right. But you were talking about something called a brain dump. Yes. Right? Right. And this is something that parents can do to help the entire family unit. Explain what a brain dump is. So the brain the brain dump process is a great question, Emily. So the brain dump process is a process where both parents mm. looking at the complications of going back to school get a chance to write down their all the challenges all the fears all the worries everything goes right in there mm -hmm. and then from there you begin to address creating a checklist of who's responsible for what and then after that you then put into a schedule when those things are going to be done and by who so that you're on the same page by looking at the same set of blueprints right so, right so it takes away the emotional charge yeah right? because otherwise it becomes my word against yours versus having a document that we both have looked at we've agreed to and now we can start to collaborate so reimagining the family dynamic creating a conversation and communication about it as well as having the courage to right. face the things that come and i think courage is a really great topic yeah. to talk about because you need it, regardless of the situation, <laughs> yeah. right? Regardless of your circumstance, courage is really important because no, not only are you helping usher your children into a brand new school yes. year, but you as parents, for a lot of parents, it's brand new territory as well. Absolutely. So being able to know that you need your team yeah. is a courageous thing yeah. when you don't necessarily always want to have to depend on people, Yes. right? So right. I really do appreciate that, but I'm also wondering, where do people go if they said, you know what, this sounds really hard. It really does. I've got courage. Right. I've got initiative. Yeah. I really want to make this happen. Right. But if they want kind of the structure of being able to plan ahead, because I'm an organizer, I right. love this idea. Yeah. I love the blueprint idea. Yeah. But where can they find out more details about that structure? So in, so in my case, right, naturally, those who are aware that I have this particular process, mm -hmm. the conversation comes up. And yeah. some people seek me out and say, hey, look, can you help me with? Did you line out your experience? Uh, I kind of did. I've got some documents that I actually used along the way. And I see them as training wheels, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're not always going to be far from no, <laughs> from right. some document. It doesn't work for everybody. They've right. got to tailor it. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So overall, what happens is following this whole process where if you hit an impasse, especially when those emotional situations, you are looking at saying, OK, this is what we genuinely agree to. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're genuinely going to do whenever we run into problems. So you're actually, in the reimagining, you're looking ahead. You're knowing what you're going to run into, and you're knowing how you're going to resolve those issues. Right. That way, you're no longer making yourselves the enemy, but you're making the family the purpose of a harmonious family the goal. That's beautiful. Yeah. Speak to that. You did speak to your background as an architect in, in the engineering perspective. Yeah. But speak to your personal experience. How 
the love for your family, yeah. the need to find balance really made this happen. Why is this, why are you so passionate about this? So I'm so passionate about this because, you know, I realized em emotionally, right, there was a place that I could have gone, mm -hmm. right, after realizing what was going to be the outcome mm -hmm. of, of a relationship. And so I said, all right, well, what's the solution to this? Well, I realized that to take the emotional aspects of it, mm -hmm. it would require me being objective. Right. Blueprints give us an opportunity to really be objective. Mm -hmm. Do you want this wall to be, this wall to be gray? Do you want the flooring to be this, right? right? So similarly, we can ask similar questions, right? Sure. Hey, who's gonna have the kids on such and such a date? Um, you know, am I picking them up? Are you picking them up? Coordinating all those things and having it agreed upon makes life so much easier. It makes the other person no longer the enemy. It makes us a team that's looking for victory. And that's the harmonious family experience. Isn't that beautiful? I absolutely love it. It's yeah. true because the thing is, as parents, and even parents are, who are currently still in relationship, right? Mm -hmm. You know that there is that give and take. Yeah. There will be moments when you're not always Absolutely. agreeing, but yeah. really taking emotion out of it to know that there's a shared goal of success, yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah. I think we could probably use that blueprint process in a lot of other life situations. But Absolutely. back to school is front and center right now, and we right. want our kids to be successful. And if there's one more thing I want to say, sure. I think the biggest thing was I knew, I knew that the joy and the peace of mind of my children was yes. gonna be the biggest thing. Right. And if I could have maintained a state of joy, peace, clarity, stress, freedom, I knew that was gonna be best for them. And mm -hmm. I was, knew that was gonna be best for the other co-parent, right? So that vision, I think, if we really stay true to that and apply that to that whole blueprint process, it makes life just so much easier, right? Oh my gosh, <laughs> totally. Bowie Madhu, we really appreciate you. And thank, thank you, you so much for being on AM Buffalo and yeah. coming back to Buffalo to explore, you know, the place that you love. Because again, <laughs> alumna, right? Alumno. Oh, I'm, I always get it wrong, but alumnus of UB. We appreciate that. Thank you so much thank for you having so me. Much. Thank you, Emily. Oh my gosh. Appreciate it. You look fantastic, by the way. Oh, I appreciate yeah, you. So. He knows structure, right? Right. From the top down. It's amazing. I appreciate all of that. And if you would like more information, there's your website right there. Tell people where they can find you. You can find me at buimadu.com, B U I H E M A D U.com. All right. And coming up ahead here on AM Buffalo, still some really great information about the new school year.